Look, if you came here because you heard we make great paninis, I don't know what to tell you. We don't make paninis. That doesn't even make any sense. Between Apple ditching them and AMD keeping up the pressure in the PC market, Intel hasn't had a great year. So they're understandably looking for any advantage they can muster. On Friday, they apparently thought they had found one as they gave a briefing to journalists detailing a flaw in AMD's Ryzen 4000 series laptops. Got you now. N almost. Namely, that when on battery power, AMD's chips don't ramp up to full strength until eight to 10 seconds after certain heavy workloads begin. Now, Intel isn't wrong. This behavior is part of what makes AMD's latest laptop so great for battery life at the expense of a bit of performance. But as Ars Technica and Extreme Tech point out, it's not the ace in the hole Intel might think it is because first off, Intel modified their laptops to run at a higher TDP than the AMD models in their tests. They created specialized benchmarks, which they say reflect real world usage when this issue doesn't cause any problems for established tests. And this weighting behavior was an option AMD made available to laptop OEMs to maximize battery life. The issue here isn't that Intel doesn't have a point. It's just that having a press conference about it seems a bit desperate. Like consumers don't want the strongest laptop. They just want one that's confident in who it is. That's true masculinity. Wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> Let's talk about graphics card leaks because the rate at which they are arriving has increased. Specifically ones about the RTX 3060 Ti, which Nvidia still hasn't officially announced, even though leaks featuring the card have been popping up steadily over the past month. Now we even have a pretty official looking slides of the card specs, or at least Manly's version. There's a GPU company called Manly. The Manly of specs. <laughs> Anyways, this avalanche of leaks claim the cards will launch on December 2nd for $399, so get your wallets ready to not buy one because shopping online is now off limits to humans. That's bot territory. We also got a couple leaks regarding AMD's unannounced RX 6700 and 6700 XT, which could both launch with 12 gigs of VRAM in early 2021. So don't worry, there'll be plenty more opportunities to spend some quality time at your computer hitting F5. That's refresh, James. Oh. oh. And one of the downsides of Apple's new M1 Mac processor is the fact that it's a lot more complicated to emulate Windows on Mac OS. That's something that was pretty easy on Intel-based Macs thanks to Boot Camp, which isn't supported on the new ARM-based models. I can't believe Apple would do this. Those, Those scoundrels. scoundrels. Well, Apple's Craig Federighi's has said that Boot Camp could work just fine on M1 Macs. Microsoft just has to enable it on their side. Now, Craig's actually referring to Windows 10 on ARM, not x86 Windows. x86 apps can already be emulated using crossover on Mac and Parallels is working to bring support for M1. And currently, Microsoft doesn't license Windows 10 on ARM unless the OEM pre-installs it on the device. Ah, so it is up to Apple. They just have to pre-install Windows on the M1 Macs. You can't trick me, Craig. Me and James, we know business. <laughs> Speaking of which, it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Vessi Footwear. They're known for making shoes that are light. I'm also wearing Vessi, you don't have to throw it at me! Ah! They're known for making shoes that are light, comfortable, and most importantly, yes. waterproof, allowing you to walk in almost any terrain while keeping your feet as dry as the vacuum of space. Their Dymatex construction keeps your ground slappers cool in the summer and warm in the winter. And their practical everyday styling fits most occasions. Keep your feet dry for the cold, wet months to come. They've got a Black Friday sale right now, so don't miss out. But if you do, use our offer code TechLinked to get $25 off each pair you buy at Vessi.com slash TechLinked. Was that the right slash? I never know. You haven't seen the quick bits I have. Phones leak too, not just graphics cards, in case you were wondering. It looks like Samsung might release their new flagship a bit early this year, with rumors pointing to January 14th as the release date. OnePlus 9 Pro is also getting some attention in the rumor mill, with leaks pointing to a curved screen, giant rear camera module, and a release date in March. But I don't know, I think I can hold on to my Pixel 3 till next September. It's doing pretty good. Comcast has to extend its 1.2 terabyte data cap to all 39 states in which the company operates. It just has to, it's got no choice. Illegally? It has to, otherwise people will abuse the system and clog the internet pipes with traffic. Even though multiple ISPs have said that the network handled the pandemic fueled surge in internet activity just fine, and Comcast engineers have said that monthly data limits exist to generate revenue not to manage congestion. We need these caps, guys. Snapchat has launched Spotlight, essentially a mini version of TikTok, inside the existing Snapchat app. But what's different about it, you might ask? What's different about it? Well, Snapchat is giving the top video creators a share of $1 million every day 
for the foreseeable future. I don't know, to me, that sounds way more fun and easy to use. How many top creators though? Should I get a cent? Yeah. Get them yeah, well, I guess we'll see. You gotta, you gotta make apps, uh, make videos first. The Solomon Islands, which are close to Australia, because I didn't know that, plans to ban Facebook due to widespread cyberbullying and people using fake identities. Never mind that Facebook was the place where official documents were leaked showing government spending on COVID. It's the cyberbullying. Okay, fine, it is a real problem. My mom comments on everything I post. Please stop. And in the latest example of that's too much money, a rare copy of Super Mario Bros. 3 has sold for $156,000 at auction, apparently because it's a super early version of the game and the word bros on the box is on the left side instead of the right. I need to go away now. Come back on Wednesday for more tech news. I'm sure we'll have something better for you by then. Imagine spending your money on that. Yeah. Could have done a lot of other stuff.